is there anything else you want to add and or anything that I should have asked you that I didn't? <laughs> wow. Um just because we're coming to the end of the interview. Yeah, I, we yeah. are coming to the end, I I assume. Um boy, what should you have asked me that Hmm. How about what is the relevance of all this to our current situation? Why uh, study slavery uh, of uh, medieval East Asia? What does it tell us about current times? Well, why study slavery of East Asia? <laughs> Largely because um, I think um, we like to coddle ourselves and say to ourselves that uh, we we have the implicit belief that um, ours is a story of human progress and that we are moving forward in time and that uh, slavery and the sort of unfreedoms associated with that practice are um, primitive Uh, and um, practices that uh, um, we're moving away from, that we're leaving behind. And I think the important message is that um, we can never really fully escape the baggage of uh, the past and that uh, slavery is still with us and not likely to be eradicated uh, anytime soon. Consequently, um, I think studying slavery in East Asia is cautionary because it uh, informs us that um, we're not the creatures of progress that we sometimes like to think we are. Uh in 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 studying slavery in east asia do you have found any any ways to f fight it not just in asia but in in the whole world um, or hurdles um against it in a way something that can be applied today the best way to combat it is to be mindful of um its history and um i think What I've tried to do is uh, kind of uh, give a voice to the voiceless in this regard and uh, to let um, at least some people know um, that um, this was an atrocity uh, that occurred over a long period of time and that uh, if we're aware of it, then we can be mindful of uh, trying to take steps to not perpetuate it. Um, thank you very much.